Guys, watch this. I got this. I am going to hit it on the first try. <laughs> you missed. It's all, it's all because of the wind. <laughs> sure, the wind. <laughs> well, let me give that another shot. <laughs> Something always gets in Tig's way. A foundling. <laughs> Fellas! Huh? Look at what I found. It was there in the sand. Oh, an egg. I wonder who it belongs to. And, oh, I wonder who's going to pop out of it. Or, or what's going to pop out of it. For something to pop out of it, one of us will have to sit on it first. So, Tig, go ahead. <laughs> sit down. Uh, why do I have to do it? Because you, my friend, are the most fluffy and the most pillowy. I'm curious. Do you think it could be a duck? <gasps> Maybe a stork. I heard that snakes also hatch from eggs. Ow! What in the... The snake bit me! Relax, will ya? It's just a little turtle. Oh, look how cute it is. <gasps> He's so precious. <laughs> Tig can't tell a baby turtle from a snake. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo. I was just kidding a bit. Scared you, didn't I? <gasps> Ooh, a meal! <gasps> Hey, guys! Look over here! Our little turtle glued his fingers together. Maybe he's a little weird? I got it. That must be why the other turtles ditched him. Oh, poor baby. We'll take really good care of you. Isn't that right, boys? Of course we will. Know what? I'm going to make a true tiger out of him. Why, a tiger, huh? He could become a great leopard. Ooh, I will call you a little baby T. <sighs> Remember, baby T, tiger is the tiger's king. <laughs> we got a king. Don't interrupt, Leo. T. Do you know why everyone is afraid of tigers? Because they are really, really super fierce. Roar! Make sense? Well, now you try. Come on, louder, like this. Roar! Enough, now it's my turn. Bear in mind, Baby T, that an ambush is the best way to overcome an enemy. We leopards are experts at this. <laughs> well, that's not quite like a leopard, <laughs> but it's a good start. And use that little precious angel in the bathtub, huh? <laughs> it's you, my little cutie patootie. Okay, Baby T, your mission right now is to catch this dragonfly. And we tigers call this thing hunting. Now go! <laughs> All right, Tig, I think it's my turn to train little T now. No way, because he's still not a real tiger yet. But he won't be. 
Because Baby T will grow up to become the bravest leopard. Tiger, leopard, guys, does it really even matter? He's just a baby. Oh, guys, guys, wh wh where is T? Yoo-hoo, little guy. Hello, T, where are you? Baby T, come out, say something. We're here. Nope, we'll never find him like this. We gotta split up. Tig, you go left. And Mila, you go right. I'll go straight ahead. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Baby T! <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Mila. Where are you going in such a hurry? Mm. Oh, Mappa Pandiga. Hello, sir. We can't find our little baby T anywhere. Where's little T? What do you mean? Baby T. You know, the little turtle? He has these special sort of little feet, as if they're glued together. Nope. I haven't seen him. Also, what would a turtle with glued feet, as you say, be doing in the forest? Turtles live elsewhere. No way! But where? Well, let me tell you. A long while ago, all turtles used to live ashore. But one fateful day, spring came about and brought along high waters. One of the islands on the river became completely covered in water. Then the oldest and wisest turtle turned to the river and asked it to have pity on them and teach her children and grandchildren how to swim. The river was deeply moved by her plea and gave all turtles webbed feet. But they still lay their eggs ashore, so that before going into water, the little ones could get a chance to know where they came from, land, their first home. It is a memory they will cherish for the rest of their lives. And when a baby turtle comes into the world, it is guided to the water by the soul of that very wise turtle. So that means that T is a water dweller. Yoo-hoo! T, where are you? Say something! Ugh, there's no sign of him. Guys, guys, listen up! It turns out that T is a water dweller. What, a water dweller? If that's true, then that must mean he... Yes, he's at the river! <gasps> but guys, the vulture! <laughs> My lunch order's here, with an extra crispy tortilla shell. <laughs> oh. Hey, you! Back off our little baby tea. Could you say that again? Didn't catch that. Keep your filthy beak off baby tea. <laughs> I'm so honored to have guests for dinner. <gasps> <laughs> Look 
It's her! It's the wise turtle! Goodbye! Swim tea! This is your family. And well, I wanted to say, you are one awesome tiger. And a brave leopard. See? Don't forget to ride! Skin of the Sun. Okay, Mom, I'll go now. No, don't be too late. All right, Mom. Hey, you, Chubster, can't find a better place to sit? He's a striped woolsack. <laughs> Let him be. Mapa Pandiga is waiting for us. Wow, Tig. Let's go. Let's see who's faster. Huh. Have you learned how to run? Oh, I'm gonna wait for you over there. What's wrong? Oh, it's so high. Tig, come on, what's the problem? Seriously, not again, man. Look, I can leave there and back. Just jump. We're gonna be late. The striped one is afraid of heights again. <laughs> Let's take a roundabout. We'll have plenty of time. Oh, of course. A roundabout. Much faster. We'll be there by night. <laughs> wow, awesome. <laughs> one bat is gonna visit the other. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be late to well, well, where is it? Okay. Ah, ha, ha, here it is. I found it. All right, kids. When my grandfather was a bear cub, a tiger lived in the giant forest full of trees, beautiful lakes, and formidable peaks. The tiger. He was weak and chicken-hearted, so nobody was afraid of him. Once, a severe drought came. The tiger thought, oh, the sun must be the strongest animal in the world. I wish I'd become this strong. So the tiger decided to lay paws on the skin of the sun. But the skin was guarded by a fierce bear. Mama Pandiga, was he as fierce as you are? No. A saber-tooth bear. He resides in his big black cave and protects the way of the stone claw, the place where the sun is nesting. So the tiger sneaked past the saber-tooth bear while he was asleep and put on the skin of the sun. The tiger became the most fearless animal in the forest. All the animals and the tiger bowed their heads to him. It was on uh, Equilibrium Day, when night is equal to day. I want to get this skin, too. Tig, I know where the stone claw is. I saw the sun setting down there. And today's Equilibrium Day. Hurry up! The skin of the sun? Thank, Thank you, you Mama Pantiga! I have to get this skin! Leo! What do you think? Was it for real? All the things that Pandiga told us about? Sure. You heard it, man. I wish I'd become the bravest tiger in the whole forest. How long do you think we've been running for? Huh? What was that? Hey, Tig. We're gonna get the skin of the sun for you, and you'll become the bravest one on Earth. Tig? Tig, what is it now? You just have to walk on this very huge, very wide log. Come on, come on. That's right. Good job. Don't look down. Just look at me. That's it. Okay. No! Get there first, 
before the sun sets! Where should we go now? Back home? Up the river? Oh no, we're never gonna make it at this rate. Okay, it's not the way. And here is not the way either. Where is it, huh? Aha! Look over there! What did Mama Pandiga tell us? Come and put your paw on the sun tree in the evening, and the way will be enlightened. Run along towards the sunset! <sighs> Leo, look! <laughs> Whoa! I always knew the stories were true. <laughs> Tig, stop talking. Let's run! <laughs> Whoa! I always knew the stories were true. <laughs> yeah. The cave of the saber tooth bear! We can't go further! Hmm. How can we climb this mountain? Hey guys, over there! <laughs> Maybe it doesn't even exist. No skin? What are you talking about? It must be there. Mappa said to catch the sun before it goes down. So run! Come on, come on, we're almost there. The rock is so close. Oh, wow. Look at this. We're so high. Is this the place? Shh, keep quiet. This is the cave of the saber tooth bear. Whose cave? You mean the saber tooth? Oh, no thanks, I'll pass. Me neither. Look there. The stone claw. Let's go. <laughs> Leo, careful. Uh, you know what? You better go on your own. Wait there. I'll bring the skin. The skin of the sun. I'll be the mightiest in the whole forest. Come on. Go down now! What was that noise? Ah, the spotted one! <laughs> hey, you! What do you think you're doing here? The skin is mine! Buzz off while you can! No way! <sighs> I'm here to get it! And I won't leave without it! What? You won't leave? Well, we're gonna help you! Leo! I'm coming! I can't! Take, hurry up! I'm losing grip! I can't do it! I'm sorry, Leo! Uh, your friend is a fat coward! <laughs> he left you! <laughs> running away, I didn't notice any saber-toothed bears. You know, Tig, you don't need no skin. You're the bravest tiger in the world. Ah! 
<gasps> Sounds like a saber tooth bear. <laughs> Keep cool. That's my mom. That's your mom? Quite a mom you have. <gasps> uh oh, that must be the saber tooth bear. No, no. That one's my mom. We better get home and fast. Everybody has a skin. But to make it glow like the sun, you need to find your path. <clears throat> Every grass blade in Taiga is alive. That's because hidden inside it is the spirit of the Taiga. Hidden? How is that? Just like that. <laughs> the spirit of the Taiga is everywhere in the grass and trees, on mountaintops, and even the deepest caves. The mysterious cave. Okay, here. No, they'll find me here. And here's where they found me the last time. And this was the one before that. Oh! Uh! But here. No way they'll find me here. Leo, look at this. Hmm. Tig, follow me. Oh, dear. Oh dear. So, where's Mila? <laughs> Tig, have you seen her? Ah, oh, Mila, when will you learn to hide properly? The same place for the third time? Mila, come on, don't be upset. I know. Let's play tag. No, no, no. One more time, please. The last one. <sighs> Mila, this was the last time. The last, last time, then. The very last time. Six, seven, oh, eight, where should I go? nine, where ten, should I go? eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, ready or not, here I come! Aha! Uh -huh. Tig, I found you! Oh, hey, that's not fair. You counted too fast. No, 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 no! Here! 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 No, 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 no! There! What should I do? Me here too. Oh. oh, a cave. I'm gonna hide so well, they'll never find me. Whoa! What darkness! Oh boy! Oh. Oh. Isn't this a good spot to hide? she would hide. It's weird. She's not here either. Leo! Look, I found some tracks. Wow, it's Mila's tracks. Follow me! Whoa. Uh-uh. I wouldn't go inside. Leo, wait! She's definitely not in there. Tig? Wait a sec. Look, it's Mila's flower. She's in there. Let's go, Tig! You sure? No way! Leo! 
Oh, come on. No, no. Oh, fine. You win, Leo. I'm coming! Ah! Oh, wow. Leo! Leo, you there? I'm here, Tig. You okay? Well, I didn't lose my tail. <laughs> Leo, where are we? We're in a cave, and Mila was definitely here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so amazing! Oh, wow! Hurrah. Look, Tig! Whoa. You're on tracks! Awesome! Tig, hurry up! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Ah, Leo! Whoa. Wait for me! <gasps> Don't leave me alone! <sighs> Mila, Mila! <sighs> 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 Take a break. No, Tig. The tracks, they disappeared. Help! I'm tired. Help! You hear that? Leo! Tig! That's Mila. She's over there. Oh, okay, fine. Right behind you. lost. Oh, okay. Don't panic. You can figure this out. Okay. Uh, think, think. Uh, this way. Uh, Mila, don't be afraid. I can do this. Don't worry. I'll think of something. I'm not afraid. Well, at first I was a little scared. But then I asked, and he helped me. And here you guys are. Wait. Who helped you, Mila? Well, I don't really know. I just thought that I was trapped, but these pretty crystals started to show me the way. Crystals? Yeah, Mila. I think I got it. It's the spirit of the tiger. Remember Pantiga told us about him? He lives inside grass and trees, on mountain summits, and even in the deepest of caves and stuff. I know how to get out of here. We'll get help from the spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger is the soul of nature. He's everywhere. Every grass blade and every rock is full of life. The spirit of the taiga cannot be seen, but he can be felt. He's always at your side, and he will help you, as long as you believe in him. The spirit of the taiga? Seriously? That's just a legend. Fairy tales made for children. That's it! There's no spirit. You're so gullible. Guess we're just gonna have to stay here forever. Tig, wait. Oh, spirit of the taiga. Would you please help us to find a way home? Oh. Oh. Thank you, spirit of the tiger! Now, guys, follow me! Leo, wait for us! <laughs> Leo, come on. Are you really gonna follow some bug? Like he can guide us outside. Leo. Tig, we'll end up staying here forever because of you. Why me? What did I do? Can't you ask the spirit of yours to guide us out of here a little bit faster? I'm getting hungry. Ask him yourself. Fine, I will. Nothing tricky about that. Listen, spirit, would you mind hurrying it up a little bit? <laughs> See that? See that? Wow, Tig. Okay. Great job. 
Couldn't you be more polite? Uh, right. Pretty, please? Oh, Leo, what are those things? Those are... those are bats! <laughs> hey, wait! Hooray! We made it! <sighs> well, Dick, how about that? Exactly what you asked for. Really fast. Right. In the end, he's really nice, that spirit of the taiga. <laughs> and you didn't believe in him. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. I believed him. I was joking. Let's go home. Hurry up. You're unbelievable. The spirit of the taiga is everywhere. But only those who genuinely believe in miracles are really able to see him. Tag, <laughs> you're it! Not fair! Cause you... you took a shortcut! Hi guys! I made a song, you know. You wanna hear it? <laughs> a song? <laughs> Can you even Me sing? Well, let's play tag instead! <laughs> Tig is it? No, I'm not. Not anymore. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> Winter tale. No, oh, King. Kids, today I will tell you a very old story I know about a bear and a magical song. Hear that, Mila? About a song. Right up your alley. <laughs> it happened a long time ago. There lived a bear who was very strong and kind, taking care of the entire taiga and making sure everything was in order. But then winter came, bringing the blizzard with it. It howled and raged and covered the forest in a snowy blanket. All the animals hid in their burrows, and the bear grew sad and lonely. He wandered around the forest all by himself and bellowed in a terrible voice, disturbing everyone's sleep and scaring baby animals. Suddenly, a small bird flew over. It sat on a tree branch next to the bear and sang a song. It sang about winter ending and spring coming back, about the sun warming up the earth again, about plants bursting into bloom and animals leaving their burrows to play. The bear listened to the song until he fell asleep. And ever since that time, as soon as winter comes, the bear climbs into his lair and sleeps there until... Uh, Papa Pandiga, spring. is it true that the bear sleeps with his paw in his mouth? Oh, uh, how am I supposed to know? There is no creature fearless enough to sniff around the bear's home. Tig, what do you think? Is it a front paw that the bears have in their mouth? Or a hind one? No, a front one. Hind paws are too far. But to know for sure, we gotta wait till Pandiga falls asleep. Why wait? We can take a peek at Beelzee and see everything. Leo, are you sure about that? There's nothing to be afraid of. 
I'll just take a peek and get out. Ah! Leo! Leo! Oh, oh dear! Leela, run! again if he listens to a lullaby. Can I be the one to sing? Be my guest. Go ahead and sing. Why don't you dance while you're at it? This is serious business here. When I was small, my mom used to tell me stories before bedtime. Bingo! A boring story. That's exactly what we need. It'll put him right to sleep. Leo, but how are we going to lure him in? Piece of cake. Snowball tree berries. <laughs> He's coming. In position, everyone. Dig, do it. That 
was so great! Thank you so much, Magic Birdie. How should I grab him? Gently. Careful not to wake him up. Boy, he's heavy. Here goes. Hey, thanks, Mila, for having my back. <laughs> Come on. It's nothing. So, is he... Yup. With his front paw in his mouth. Mila. Why didn't you tell us you were such a great singer? My turn. Oh, sleep tight, baby. Bear, rest your head. Have no fear. <laughs> oh, come on. What's so funny? I'm not that bad. <laughs> like, like mole, mole in, in his burrow, burrow like, like fox in, in his hole. And, and afterwards, winter will bid you goodbye. And, and spring will arrive in the blink of an eye. The air so warm, but for now you should sleep. And that's how a good song can make can make a miracle. <laughs> Over there, hiding behind a bush. <laughs> the tiger kids is like nature's own pantry. And what is the richest, most filling time to be in the forest? What time? Lunch time? No. <laughs> the most generous time is the autumn season. <laughs> you chickens, you got scared of an empty snakeskin. Come over here. Do not be afraid. Mappa, so the snake is now crawling around completely naked? Like a plain earthworm? But why? No, kids, no. The snake sheds its old skin and crawls out of it wearing a new one. That's a neat trick. I wish I could do that. Whenever your coat gets dirty, all you gotta do is take it off and carry on. <laughs> Mapa Pandiga, how did the snake learn to shed its old skin? Mmm, that's a very interesting story. <clears throat> Have a seat and listen. Once upon a time, there lived a great snake, the king of all snakes. But he grew very old and couldn't see well, or even crawl anymore. So, the great snake ordered his subjects to find a cure for old age. The snakes shot off in all directions. They searched every deep crevice and every underground cave, but found nothing. The last one to come back was the whip snake carrying a secret root. The great snake ate the root and crawled out of his old skin. Once again, he was young, strong, and healthy. The great snake was very happy. After that, he made it so that a shiny trail is left wherever the whip snake crawled. That magical root. Oh, that root was ginseng. <laughs> the sun! Finally! <laughs> Mama Pandiga, let's go to, uh, to eat some grapes. Oh, 
I'm a little under the weather. Ugh. And my back hurts. Mappa Pandiga? What's wrong with you? <gasps> Poor Mappa Pandiga! It looks like he came down with something. We have to help him. Totally. But how? I know how. We are going to find that magical root. Remember? It can cure everything. Right, Leo. Let's go find that... Jasingji. Uh, but where do we find it? Oh, is this it? No, Teague. This is a Manchurian walnut. Haven't you listened to anything Mappa told us? We have been looking for this root for an hour. Maybe the thing doesn't exist. I think I found it. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, wow. It's like in a fairy tale. These marks are left by the whip snake. We could track him down. Right, and then ask him to help find the magical root. To cure our mappa. that Whip Snake is home right now. So let's just get out of here. No, we came here to get ginseng for our mappa, and we need to find it. Leo, what if there's no ginseng here either? Don't say that. Of course there is, and we'll find it. Well then, I'm just gonna wait for you guys here. I don't like swamps. I mean, I'm allergic. Huh. a leech here. Which one of you is the most delicious? No, no, we don't taste good at all. Yeah, I'm bitter and sour. Silly kids. Why would you march into the swamp? We're really <gasps> sorry. We just needed the magical root. It's for a good cause, to help someone. <coughs> Our Mappa Pandiga, he got really sick. Can cure any disease. You know Mappa Pandiga? Right, I remember him as he was still a bear cub. Well, hop on. I'll give you a ride. Now, 
now, wait. Take it, and say hello from me to Mappa. We sure will, Mr. Whipsnake. Thank you, Mr. Wise Whipsnake, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Snake. See you later. See you. <sighs> even have to climb this mountain when we could be at home right now playing games. And look. Look at the sky. I think it's gonna rain. I really hate autumn. Okay, we've arrived. Look at how majestic oh, our tiger is in autumn. Woohoo! The view is <laughs> beautiful! <laughs> look at that! You know what I always say, right? Autumn is my favorite time of the year. <laughs> Tiger can not only give you food, but also medicine. The Silver River. to see that. <laughs> and then? What happened then? And then? And then Tig woke me up. Oh, hey, Leo. I think I know where you can find your silver river. <gasps> the silver river. Just like in my dream. Whoa! Leo, Leo, no, Leo! This is just a bunch of moths. Come on. Leo, there's no reason to get so upset. It was just a dream. It wasn't just any dream. It was the best dream ever. And I was flying in it. Oh, dear. We've upset our friend. And on his birthday, too. Mm -hmm. Mappa Pandiga, can we ask you for some advice? Today is Leo's birthday. Mm -hmm. And he really wants to see the Silver River really badly. So I tried to take him to a river as a present, but it failed. The Silver River? <laughs> Few animals get a chance to see it. So, wait a minute, Mappa. Does the Silver River really exist? Let me tell you a story. A long, long time ago, there was a salmon named Mazu. He was swimming around the seas and rivers, maintaining peace and order and helping those in need. Mazu came to have many friends, but one day he saw a bird soaring over the river and also wanted to fly. Mazu jumped up, but couldn't take off and fell back into the water. He then became sad and descended to the very bottom. Mazu's friends wanted to help him after all the good he's done. So they asked the river to make his dream come true. The river then turned silver. 
and lifted him up, and the salmon started flying above the water. Ever since that time, once in his life, every salmon follows his dream upriver, where only those who've earned true friendship by doing good deeds are fortunate enough to find the Silver River. You've already made Leo the most important and most valuable gift in the world, and Leo will soon realize that. You just need to practice patience and give your friend Leo some more time. Guys, you've heard the round one. They've gone and given the spotted one the most valuable gift in the world. We have to take that gift away. <laughs> <laughs> and how can we take it if we don't know what it is? We'll make sure the spotted one gives it to us by choice. <laughs> we'll lure him into the most dangerous place we can find. And then you'll give him a scare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good I'll idea. save yeah. him, and then he will give me that valuable thing as a thank you. <laughs> and, and what is that dangerous place? It's uh, the Black Rock. Wow, the, the Black, Black Rock. Rock! What was the spotty dreaming of? <laughs> to see the Silver River. <laughs> so that's what he's going to see. <laughs> Leopards don't fly. But I did fly. Oh, hi, Leo. <laughs> uh, great weather today, isn't it? Uh, you know, in this weather, the Silver River looks especially cool. The Silver River? Martin, did you just say the Silver River? Have you seen it? Oh, sure. I could show it to you if you want. Wow! Of course I want to! Leo! Leo! Where could he go? Leo! Ah! Hey! Watch it, okay? Oh! I can see Leo! And the Martins! Where are they going? They are marching towards the Black Rock! What? Towards the Black Rock? Hmm. Something's not right. Come on! We have to follow them! <laughs> Go! Go over there! To the very edge! I can't see anything!
gonna get you! Ah! How's it going, buddy? Yes! <laughs> 